My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. When's the last time you've been able to find a 1970 Chevelle that is a documented, a real SS454? I've got one right here. I have a build sheet and protecto plate. They're not reproductions, they are originals. This is the real deal right here. It's been body off the frame restored just a few hundred miles ago. The motor is upgraded to LS6 specs. This thing, it's a runner. Wait till you hear it. If you visit volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, and get the price, on, not only on this car, but on a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see them as they come out. But right now, tops down. 450 horsepower into the hood. Let's go for a spin. Show quality. Fan, fantastic, fantastic, fabulous. Uh, it's a high quality car. Body off the frame restored. The hole underneath is detailed, rebuilt. I mean, the front end, the brakes, uh, the fuel tank, the exhaust system. It's all painted. It's a beautiful car underneath. Uh, frame off restored. What I was talking about earlier, and this is a big deal. Some people could care less, but to the collector, this is a big deal. This was on the cover of the Chevelle Restorer's Guide. That's this car right here. The build sheet, or half a build sheet, I admit is very difficult to read. You can make out some of the options here. But then you've got the Protecto plate. The Protecto plate is the warranty card that you kept in the glove box. So when you brought the car in for warranty work, it has the engine, the rear end codes, transmission codes, that's all on this uh, protecto plate. And the code that's on here is CTW, that is a 454 engine. And the VIN number of the car is here. So this car was born with a 454 engine. It was sold new to Joe Brokes and it was in Decatur, Illinois, right here in Illinois. It sold new. So this is a documented LS5 convertible, probably one of the most desirable cars, uh, muscle cars in existence. The body fit and finish is incredible. All the gaps, the lines are fantastic. Lines up beautifully, smooth as glass, right down to the bottom of the car. This is like red glass. I mean, this thing is polished out like a mirror. All the moldings are new or polished, new rubber seals, new door handles. Again, look at the gaps, it's flush, new moldings, new SS wheels. They're not black, it's dark charcoal gray with silver, it's the way it's supposed to be. Reproduction wide oval tires. <clears throat> no crack, they all crack right here, there's nothing there. Don't feel the stripes, they're painted on properly, but you don't feel them. The bumpers re-chrome, new rubber pad, cowbell exhaust tips. No crack on this side either. Fantastic. It even feels slick. <laughs> this side here, just as nice. Look at the door jam, how it's detailed. The sticker, the hardware, the weather strip. Bottom of the door is spotless. New rubber. The pillars, new windshield. A cow induction. Loaded up car. Power windows, power uh, locks, tilt, gauges, factory air conditioning. Yeah, so a cowl induction hood. Comes with hood pins. Has the T3 reproduction lights up front here. Everything's new. The grill. This is a tricky area for fit because it, it just has a lot going on up here. If it's a little off, these hit and chip. This one fits beautifully. Detailed to factory show condition. Spring clamp cables, Delco battery topper, complete cowl induction system. It has the LS6 big port uh, heads, the LS6 low rise aluminum intake. 
has the deep groove pulleys that an LS6 would come with, the right hoses, clamps, cadmium plated booster, new wiper motor, everything in here is restored and detailed out beautifully. The shroud, the horns, all of it looks great. Again, door jams beautiful, new sill plates. Interior is completely restored. New cushions in the seats, new upholstery, all new trim, the plastic, the chrome, the dash instrument panel, all like brand new, the visors, the vents. Oh, it's got power trunk too, which doesn't seem to be working. We'll look at the power trunk. Yeah, it's got the actuator up there. And I see a wire running to it. Trunk compartment is all clean metal, spatter painted very nicely. It looks like it was almost done with a gun maybe because it's nicer than most. Has the mat, has a matching reproduction wheel and tire, the complete jack under the trunk lid, painted beautifully. The weather strip, the decals, it looks new in the trunk. It's got the gauges, got the deluxe wheel, tilt, it's an automatic turbo 400 horseshoe shifter again the seats feel good they're rebuilt you fire this bad boy up 376 miles since it's done the heater control panel the factory gauges did not come with a uh, oil pressure gauge so there is an oil pressure gauge down below the dash i just noticed even the clock is ticking the mirror is new Very cool, the AM radio is rebuilt with modern guts. It lights up digital. This is not one of the aftermarket retro radios. This is an actual AM radio with, with new guts inside of it. Isn't that idle just perfect? This is one running son of a gun, let me tell you. That's just feathering the gas. Door shuts nice. is incredible that is one healthy sounding motor the cowl induction closes it only opens when you tromp on it interior lights work I do need to make one correction I said it has air conditioning it does not I apologize I was thinking of a different car so there you have it restored better than new a genuine LS5 454 Chevelle convertible try and find one visit volocars.com Plenty of ways on there to contact us. We'll help answer any questions or concerns you have about the car, the process, the delivery, the financing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy the videos. Click on the bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next video that comes out. Thanks for watching.